Every year, the Lunsford Festival awards the Lunsford Award to an individual who has made significant contributions to the folk, musical, or dance traditions of the Southern Mountain region, just as its namesake, Bascom Lamar Lunsford, did. Today, I am very pleased to give this award to someone who has, from his earliest days in Western North Carolina several decades ago, worked tirelessly to document and celebrate the rich musical traditions of this region through photography, television and radio, educational programs, and through his own excellent storytelling and music performances. He has spent countless hours with tradition bearers, including in Madison County's Sodom Laurel community with folks like ballad singer Deli Norton. In 2002, he won a Grammy Award along with Doc Watson for Best Traditional Folk Recording. He was inducted into the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame in 2016. He has been, been a frequent guest at the Grand Old Opry and appeared in the Coen Brothers classic film, O Brother, Where Art Thou? You've also likely seen him in his role as host of the North Carolina PBS series Folkways and State of Music. And in addition to all of those accomplishments and accolades, he is incredibly generous with his rich knowledge, musical gifts, and time. It is my great honor to give the 2021 Lunsford Award to Mr. David Holt. Thank you so much. This means a lot to me. He was a mentor of mine, although he didn't know it. I first met him when I came back uh, to the mountains and went to the festival in, in uh, 1969. And, uh, he, you know, he would go into the mountains and collect songs, and that's what I wanted to do, too. So watching him and see how he did it uh, was really inspirational to me, and the way he ran the festival, too. He knew how to, like, in the back of the Thomas Wolfe Auditorium, there would be everybody jamming in the back, and he would go out there. He's like, you know, almost 90 now. And uh, if he hears some odd combination of instruments or somebody really picking beautifully, he pulls them out on stage, grabs them by the arm and says, you're next, and puts them on stage. So you might hear uh, George Pegram play with Tom McKinney or something, and it just was a wild sound. And so the audience really loved it. And I always uh, really respected that, and uh, I guess he inspired me to create situations where people can play music professionally and get well known, or get known at least, because that's the way this music stays alive. And he certainly did that and helped a lot of people to do that. And I was uh, really inspired by many of the things he did. I loved the white suit, though, and the first time I was on the Grand Ole Opry, I decided, what am I going to wear? I remember Bascom wearing that white suit and it just stood out on the stage. I said, that's what I'm going to do. And as he got older, when he was 93, that was, uh, I guess, 1972, something like that, they would take him out on the stage to sort of shuffle him up to the microphone. He had introduced the people and sort of just fall back into their arms. But that's how much he was dedicated to it. And you got to love a guy who wrote a song like The Good Old Mountain Dew. You know, it's just a classic. So I'll hush up my mug and fill up my jug and thank you for this wonderful award.